Niagara water. Good morning, Campo. Wait, is that the line? Uh, no, the line is uh, linear straight. Line. Oh, well, <coughs> happy <laughs> Wednesday, Campo. My you name is Andre. On the water. I did. And my name is Tyler. Here's what we have for you guys today. Andre, take it away. All right, Tyler. Um, do you have a younger sibling? I actually do have a younger sibling. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. Wow. Well, that's really awesome. Do yes. you have a younger sibling in kindergarten through eighth grade who would love to be interested in performing uh, during a Campo Verde varsity basketball halftime? If so, the cheer and CV dance program and are hosting a combined oh, cheer wow. and dance pup clinic. Pup clinic. Wow. Yeah. Each participant will learn a routine for both programs to the perform baby down there. <laughs> at the CV versus Apollo halftime. Yep. The clinic is on December 10th and 11th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. That's about a month away. It is. Yep. All participants will perform that Thursday evening at the home basketball game. Registration closes on Friday, November 30th. Visit www.cvspiritline.weebly.com under our pup clinic tab. So go to that website, find the pup clinic tab. Just click on the link. You'll be good to go. Yeah, there's no link. That sounds oh. like a great opportunity, though. Hey, attention to all participating in the 8th Annual Key Club Winner Winner Turkey Dinner. Please have all contributions. There's a turkey down there. Please <laughs> have all contributions to your, family your family's boxes turned in by the end of fifth hour lunch today. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. That's today. Yep, today, Wednesday. Key Club members, check Gold Classroom for many service opportunities coming up over the next month. Wow. Your service time is needed. Oh, 100%. Yes. Um, Tyler. Yeah, so I got a special report from a really great friend of mine. His name is Tristan Bankson. Is that right? You. It is. Um, he is from Biomed, and Whoa. Biomed is holding a, fr a fundraiser. A fundraiser. They're holding selling a fundraiser. Harkin loyalty cups for six dollars and fifty cents. That's a good deal on Harkin loyalty is. cups. Find uh, Tristan Bankson or any other Biomed student to order yours before November thirtieth. That's November thirtieth. Yep. Or s or see Miss Montreal in room two one five. Yep, 215. Creative, creative Writing Club is holding a writing symposium in the cafeteria. What is I, symposium? I love the word symposium. I do too. Uh, on Friday night from 7 to 8.30 p.m., we encourage anyone interested in writing to join, to join us. For those, uh, for those of you not in the club, there's an open mic at the end, of, at the end if you want to share your compositions. Who's Mike? I don't know who Mike is. The theme will be time and decades, but remember, you do not have to follow the theme. But you're recommended to, but you don't have to. You don't I, have to do it. I guess Mike will be there. Yeah, Mike might be there. OK. The push for Maybe. a hip-hop oriented club continues. Yeah. If you would like to produce your own hip-hop music, make your interest known. You are able to start a club on campus to do just this with really? five members and a sponsor, you know, Niagara. You just need one sponsor, which is Niagara. Yes. If you're interested, drop by the activities office for the sign up. That's awesome. It is. Uh, actually, we have a new segment. So that's pretty big news. We have a that new is. segment with our very own Colin. It's called Cooking with Colin, which is kind of like alliteration. Today, he is making macaroni and cheese. Let's cut to Colin and see how to cook with Colin. Oh, this is going to be good. Yep, Colin's video. Um, bum, bum, bum. You look like you want to learn how to cook. Click it to light. This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital. To rock around. That's right. On top. It's tricky. It's so tight. Here we go. It's tricky to rock around. So, today, we're going to be learning how to make some mac and cheese. So, first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a pot. Now, this pot has some, has some water in it. Noodles. I'm going to try not to spill these out everywhere. But, yeah, they're there. Some nice whole grain noodles, a, a good inch of milk, some some cheese powder, Ho totally homemade, not from a box. I'm gonna need a stick of butter, and you're gonna need a bowl with some holes in it. You need a spoon to stir things with. <coughs> now, before, before we start cooking, you're gonna need a pet cat. Yeah, you're gonna need one of these. He's my cooking buddy. Isn't that right, Bernard? Perfect. But what you do need is an apron so that your stuff doesn't 
falling the stuff. But I don't have an apron, sadly. So, we're using the second best thing, a trash bag. Now, another thing that every, every cook must have is a hairnet so that your hair doesn't fall in. Yet again, I don't have a hairnet, but I do, I do have a plastic bag. I don't know how to put this thing on. Well, it'll take a few tries. Okay, we got the whole hair thing situated perfectly fine. It only took a few tries. But now, we're going to start cooking. Okay, so the first thing in our cooking process that we're going to want to do is start boiling that water. Where the magic begins. You stick it on, right? Crank this thing. It says front. This is the front one. Front, front. Yeah, why? Fire. And also, whilst we are waiting for this water to boil, we have to deal with this butter. Now, we want a good this much of it. I don't know how much that is. Let's try not to hit anything on the roof. Worked like a charm. Gotta actually stick it in though, find out. Kinda scary actually. Hmm. It's a little warm up. Okay, your boy got his max before they were cheesy. And we're gonna dump them in here. Just gotta give it a little. Water didn't splash, that's surprising. A little. <laughs> Whack. The water's making some bubbles. It's kinda scary actually. Wait, let's see if I can scoop some out for you guys. Look at that. God, ah! Um, don't tell my mom. I just realized I kind of look like Mr. Clean right now. Okay, little did I know the noodles were done a long time ago, so we gotta get this strainer ready. Ah! Steamy. Okay, so while your pan's still warm, grab your perfectly cut butter by a sword. Just kind of give it a good little, little, little. This is boring. Okay, I'm gonna teach you real quick how to make some protein milk. So you get one of these things, carnation breakfast essentials chocolate flavored, and you get a cup of milk and you kind of shake it down, rip the top off. This is where it gets spooky, it kind of shoots everywhere. Ooh, I dunked it everywhere. Got yourself some chalky milk. Okay, so now that your meal's done, you can take off your Oh my god, it fell on the mac and cheese. You can rip off this too. And now it's time to feast. Now I hope you guys don't mind too much. We're gonna do some oh, it's a little bit of ASMR here. Listen to this. That's nice. I'm going for the first bite. Delightful. Wow, thank you Colin for that incredible video. That was so lovely. That mac and cheese looked delicious. It did, honestly. I feel so hungry right now. You wanna go somewhere after uh, this? Yeah, there's mac and cheese that Colin just made. We might ask him for some. Oh. Yeah, read the next part of the script. All right. Hey Coyotes, Link Crew will be hosting the November Link and Learn on Thursday. This Thursday, which is tomorrow? No, it's uh, not. It's November 15th in the library during, so during second half of both lunches. It is tomorrow. No, it's not tomorrow. Okay. That's, uh, I believe, that is tomorrow, actually. Yeah, it is tomorrow. It is tomorrow. Um, during both the yeah, second half of both lunches, they will be touching on study it's and tomorrow. test, taking tips and tricks for the upcoming finals. It's so tomorrow. if you want to crush on your finals, come on out to Lincoln Learn. Winners of the You Kahoot. scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But the winners of the Kahoot. It's okay. Will receive a Link Crew's <laughs> custom designed study basket. This, <laughs> this is for all grade levels. I can't wait to see you there and win that Kahoot. I want that basket. Do you win Kahoots? Uh, yeah. You know who also wins? Our very own Kenny, except for the poll deciding who Ginger number one is. Let's turn over to Kenny with the sports for this week. Kenny, please take it away. Wow. He looks like he should be flying a plane. It is. A okay. the Thank you once again for reminding me that I'm Ginger number two. Much appreciated. Hi, I'm Kenny with today's Sports for Report. Let's dive into what we got today. The boys and girls cross country team ended their official seasons at the state championship on Saturday. State medalist Caitlin Bowie led the girls team to eighth place finish. And state medalist Kenny Edwards and Wyatt Hansen aided the boys team in finishing third. 
A handful of these athletes will now move on to the Southwestern National Qualifier on Saturday. Photos from the meet are posted at runcampo.com. Thank you, Campo Nation, for all your support of our athletes this season. Your Coyote boys basketball team has a preseason scrimmage against Ironwood Ridge High School tonight at 6 p.m. in the gym. Come out and get your first look at the new squad. Basketball season is here tomorrow, Thursday, November 15th. Coyote Madness will take place. What does that mean? Inner squad scrimmages starting at 6 p.m. in the gym. Raffles, slam dunk, and three-point contests in effect. Brock McDowell will be performing the national anthem on his electric guitar. Come out and have some fun kicking off the basketball season. Good luck to Campo Verde Green Cheer Competition team as they head to AIA State Qualifier and the USA National Qualifier this Saturday, November 17th. Come check out the cheer team perform at Desert Ridge High School around 8.30 a.m. or support us later on in the day at Estrella Foothills around 2 p.m. Good luck as you kick off your competition season. That's all for today's sports, and a shout out to Miss Brittner because it's her birthday today. Happy Sweet 16. Alrighty, guys, back to you. Happy birthday. Wow. Sponsored by Niagara. Niagara Water. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Kenny, for that sports we report. We really, truly do appreciate it. <laughs> the script. <laughs> Last Thursday, <laughs> we had some visitors on campus to promote kindness and to deliver an anti-bullying message. Thanks to Radiate for making that happen. Our very own Hannah Eddy has prepared a recap video for us. Let's take a look at the recap video. <laughs> Wow, thanks Hannah, that was really great. The weather has been That video perfect was really good. Lately. I'm the telling you Tyler, the weather has been perfect lately. The weather has been nice, the air has been crisp, the weather has been perfect. Not yesterday though, it was pretty chilly. No, yesterday was pretty cold, really cold. Uh, uh, you know who has some more information about the weather for us? No, I do not. Our very own weatherman, Gene oh, Aguas. I hey Gene, take it away. Good morning Coyotes and welcome to today's weather report. So it's been cool, however, temperatures should start pulling back up towards these normal averages. So let's take a look at that. Some cloud today with a high of 70 with a low of 45. Tomorrow, a high of 76 and a low of 47. And on Friday, a high of 77 with a low of 48. In terms of wind, we're not expecting anything out of the ordinary. Just a little bit more warming up and a little bit of cloudiness on Friday. That is all for the weather. I am Gene Aguas. Back to Tyler and Andre. Thanks, Gene. We really do appreciate it. Uh, coyotes, make sure you are taking advantage of Link Crew and NHS's Think Crew tutoring in the library. This is for all grade levels, Niagara Water. This is for, for all grade levels. We are here for, your, for we are here to help you succeed. Look look for the designated area in the library during your lunch period. We'll see you there. It's during both lunch periods, so you have to go. We'll see you there. Yeah. All right. We would like to pause a moment to honor the greatly influential visionary of our time, Mr. Stan Lee, creator of such greats as like the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, all the Avengers basically, Black Panther, uh, Wakanda. Um, yep. He recently passed away on Monday morning. He was 95 years old and we are grateful for his timeless contributions to our entertainment. May he rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Well, that's actually all we have on the script today, so I guess the show's over. Uh, his name's Andre. Yes. My name's Tyler. Uh, everyone, let's have a great day. Um, Wait, you're Tyler and I'm Andre? Yeah, I'm Tyler. Of course. Remember, it's still November, so hang in there. Triple N reference. Oh. Uh, you, you have a nice day, everyone. Thanks, you too. Niagara water. You know, let me see it. It's zooming out. You can still see it. Hey, guys. <laughs> Yeah, sorry that this video is so late. Uh, just pretend it's Halloween. So, yeah.
Solomon, it's Halloween day. Let's go do some spooky things. Are you ready for Halloween? Yeah. What is that? Mean? Oh, okay. Give him a minute. Give him a minute. Like oh, okay. What was that? Oh, it was nothing. All right, guys. Let's go do some Halloween activities. I'm gonna get stuck footage of me drinking. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, do you guys have any Halloween items? Oh, we do not. Um, we're going to Wendy's. I have five dollars. Thank you for choosing Wendy's. My name is Anna. Can I help you? Hello, do you have any Halloween items? No. Okay. Uh, do you have any large fries? So I would crunch. I would crunch these, but you hear that? They're soggy because they're a dollar. I think we um, should stray away from food I food items, and we should go for like um, traditional Halloween stuff. So let's carve a pumpkin. Jeez! Okay. I didn't mean for you to slam. We it got that. this yeah. pumpkin here for carving on Halloween. Oh, okay. Don't forget to get your camp over here. No. That's creamy. <laughs> That smells so bad. Smell it. That's a pumpkin. Jack Skellington? It's supposed to be Jack Skellington. Don't know if it looks like him. Alright, let's go put a light in it. Okay. There we go. Here you go, light. Beautiful. Let's light this puppy up. <laughs> okay, our pumpkin is lit up. Hold on, what, what is this? All right, guys. Um, oh, there's a mosquito. Oh, those are hot embers. So I, I don't think this is getting across enough. Uh, uh, yeah. What? I, I think uh, there's a haunted house at the school. You want to go? Yes. Let's go to the haunted house. It's Halloween. This boy again. Me... It's Halloween. There we go. <laughs> That's good. Ooh. It feels so good to sit down from all that standing. And... Might be the ingredient I see. We have arrived, haunted house. We're heading up. If you move into a haunted house, you gotta try to work things out. So if you're living with a ghost or three, you gotta be one big, semi-scary family. Don't know how we ended up this way, but I guess you could call it the haunted Hathaways. Gotta check out Hasbin Hotel. I don't know when it's coming out, but it's gonna be epic. <laughs> We're about to enter the haunted house and get scared. Yes, I am. She's a vampire, by the way. You're a vampire. The first one is don't touch them, and they won't touch you. The second one is well, if you get scared, let me know. The third one, well, don't make them mad. Oh. Something that hurts. Now, say your prayers. You may not come back. Oh. You're the spiders. 
What would you rate the haunted house? Ten out of ten. That was amazing. That was you get very scary. scare in my life. Who are you?